In Creo Parametric, the Intelligent Fastener extension allows you to place different fasteners in your assemblies automatically. But I want to show a configuration option that you probably need to set if you get some errors. And also I want to show you how to use dowels. So first off, let's say that I am using the Intelligent Fastener extension to place a screw. Here I am on the Tools tab. Let's click on Screw. And I'm going to put one in here. And it will start from this surface. And the thread will start from this surface as well. Then I will click the OK button. And here we have the millimeter catalog. But let's say I go to the ISO catalog. And let's use the button to automatically size it based on the hole. This is good. I've got my M5. I've got the length set in here. Now I'll click the OK button. And you can see that I'm getting an error it's saying that this model uh, was not found. It's looking for the part file for this. So in order to prevent that error, let's go to File, Options, Configuration Editor. I'm going to add a config option. Let's find the one for search path file. So I'm going to type in search as what I am looking for and then scroll down in the list over here. And the one that you want to set is called search path file. Now I'm going to browse to where that should be set. And I'm going to go to the Creo Parametric Load Point. I have mine installed in Program Files and then PTC. And this is Creo Parametric 6.0. Ideally, I should use the oldest version of Creo Parametric that I currently use. But later on, I'll set it to my Creo 4.0 folder. And then inside of here, we'll go to Common Files and then Text. Oops, one second. Wrong folder. Let's go to Common Files. IFX and then inside of here we're going to go to parts and then pro library and here is a search.profile and this contains the different folders that contain the fasteners so let's choose open and that way we have our config.pro option being set to this value let's click add change and then close out of here and then I'm going to click OK and I'm not going to save at this point because, again, I want to set that to the search dot profile for the oldest version of Creo Parametric that I currently use. Now, let's give it a shot. I will click on the screw button and again, select here and then here and here. Let's click the OK button. And once again, I will change to the ISO catalog. Let me use my icon for automatically sizing the diameter and then click OK. And now in this case, the model is able to be placed because it knows the location of the different part files. So that is a configuration step that you should take. Now let's take a look at placing dowels in the model. And I'm going to go to the View Manager and change to a combination state that I've set up that contains a cross section and an exploded state and also a style state to make things visible. So let's say I want to use a dowel inside of here to place my different components in order to line them up before they are going to be assembled. Well, in order to place a dowel, we have a dowel command. Let me get out of this one and go back to default all. And I'm just going to apply the style state so it's easier for me to see where I want to place the dowel. Let me close the view manager and now we can go to the dowel command. Let's select our position reference and I'm going to query select by using the right mouse button to select this hole from the engine block rear. And then for the dowel pin surface, I'm going to query select to the surface, the flat surface from the same component. Just to be nice. I could have used the surface from the other part, but I like to be consistent. Now we will click okay for the necessary references and right now it's giving us a diameter here just make sure I can measure the diameter and pick this over here and lo and behold yep it is a value of four and right now we're getting a length of eight let's change this length and I'm gonna say hey let's try length of 12 you can see a preview in there eh, Needs to be a little longer. Let's try maybe 16. Yep, that is a good length. And be aware that you also have, the, have this depth here. So if the holes were not symmetric on both sides, you could adjust it one way or the other. But again, I like the length of 16 with the depth of 8. 
then I can click the OK button and now I've got my dowel placed inside of there and to see what this one looks like in the view manager again we can go to the all tab and double click this in here so there you can see the dowel that is placed with the intelligent fastener extension I hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindchill.com if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you learned something from this video please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded thank you very much